Hi, this is Zach Mir with the US Penny Stock Chart Breakers uh, here on Chair Talk for Wednesday the 8th of July. Starting off with the Yamana Gold, which I suppose is topical given the performance of gold the metal at the moment. So we see the uh, stock here near the best levels of uh, the year to date, not surprisingly. Floor of the channel uh, at the, uh, at the currently around the $5.20 level and above that we're looking for further upside, hopefully towards the top of the uh, January uh, channel, the January resistance line there up to $8 and that could be seen hopefully as soon as the end of next month. We've got the uh, 50 and 200 day moving averages uh, both rising quite strongly as you would expect. Uh, next stock is uh, one which uh, is uh, doing rather better I suppose in relative terms than uh, Yamana at the moment. Broadwind uh, with a, a strong push to the upside uh, within a rising trend channel uh, from February. Uh, support at this stage probably coming in at the initial, uh, well, the uh, the uh, latter part of uh, June's resistance around the four dollars ten area, so above four ten. Looking for further upside here, up towards uh, the top of the channel, up to eight dollars again. Hopefully by the end of next month at the latest. This day generally back below three seventy, three seventy five, uh, and the floor of the channel really killing the idea of a an ongoing. Uh, breakout for the shares. The next contender is one that uh, seems to be uh, pretty uh, well entrenched in terms of uh, recovery but obviously how far it can uh, push back after the losses we saw in March remains to be seen. A rising trend channel from the beginning of March for the channel currently around $5.74 above that looking for further upside. Uh, end of week close I suppose above uh, that uh, early June resistance and uh, $7 would probably uh, build inspire confidence but otherwise above uh, the floor of the channel $5.75 $5 then we are looking towards uh, the March uh, resistance line projection up to $9 again to be hit as soon as the end of next month. Uh, another stock which uh, may be uh, worth uh, watching over the near term is uh, Corvus Pharmaceuticals. Uh, here we've had the, uh, I suppose, the, the massive gap to the upside, almost sort of bear trap rebound, really, that we've got for the shares. Support so far coming in well above uh, the uh, pre-gap higher May resistance, which was uh, normally, I suppose, towards four dollars twenty. So above that, uh, we are uh, literally in uh, full bull mode, looking for a top of uh, two thousand and twenty price channel as high as nine dollars. Things get a bit messy, I suppose. Um, we, we might have an overlap um, around either side of the $4.20 area, but the uh, best case scenario would be that uh, we don't break $4.75, which uh, was yesterday's support area. We hold the uh, gap to the upside at the top of the gap and we head up towards uh, $9, but that would be pretty impressive, let us say, uh, given the massive turnaround that we've had in the stock already. On to uh, uh, another bullish contender at the moment, Heckler Mining. Uh, here you can see that uh, shares are breaking out of a near-term triangle at 320. Um, so that is a helpful scenario. Got the 50 and 200 day moving averages rising well as well. So uh, above 320, up to the top, we're looking up towards the top of the rising trend channel from the beginning of the year. Currently pointing to a target as high as $5.20. And again, the expectation is for that to be seen by the end of next month so nice risk reward play at the moment risking what 30 to 40 cents and looking for uh, two to three uh, dollars perhaps as uh, the upside there uh, we were rather upset that uh, Yamano hadn't really moved too much um, as far as uh, the upside is concerned with gold but uh, no such quibbles with Harmony Gold Mining here we've had gaps all the way over the last uh, few weeks last month especially uh, gaps to the upside unfilled as well uh, even though we've gone up a long way, we could still hit the top of that rising trend channel from January up towards the six eighty to or even seven dollars level. Stop loss at this stage probably um, back uh, at least back below the uh, latest gap, which is around five dollars uh, five, which is a rather was a rather large one in percentage terms. Uh, anywhere within that uh, gap that we've had uh, between five ten and. Uh, uh, 525 uh, would be an alternative stop loss but obviously that is a riskier uh, a play in terms of uh, more being more likely to be hit uh, but anyway there we are with uh, Harmony and looking good for uh, a target towards the $7 area. Uh, next up a stock which is uh, also looking pretty uh, uh, strong, pretty um, vibrant at the moment uh, 
uh, MICT or MICMEIST. Uh, here we can see that we've got a rising trend channel uh, in place since uh, uh, basically before the beginning of the year. We just cleared the uh, that that late uh, well the early J July resistance around the uh, two dollars uh, forty level and above that on an end of day close basis looking to three fifty, uh, which is the top of the uh, late uh, two thousand and uh, uh, nineteen trend channel uh, a price channel uh, that I've just expanded the shares to. Uh, so current situation obviously the shares are quite overbought so there's a risk of. Uh, a bit of jiggery pokery either side of uh, the two forty uh, two dollars forty area, perhaps down to two twenty to two uh, ten as a worst case scenario. But at least while we're above that area, uh, looking forward to three fifty plus for that particular situation. On to uh, another bullish contender, Electra Mechanica. Uh, here we've got a uh, beautiful gap to the upside, uh, sort of a bull flag now within that gap that we've got there, and uh, potential up to. Uh, the uh, top of that August, um, well, that August resistance line projection heading towards $8. Uh, and that target really valid while we hold above the top of the gap uh, at $3.90 to for $10 over the near term. The last stock, stock of the day is uh, one that uh, has to say, I have to say, is uh, looking pretty healthy as well. Um, uh, Siku Holdings, uh, here you can see that uh, we've had a what, what, what amounts to a bear trap gap reversal. Uh, so. Uh, and a double bottom as well, so very, very bullish uh, signals there, very, very bullish patterns there. And above the 50-day moving average at $3, uh, say, 25, initial target here up to the 200-day moving average around the $4.87 mark. And obviously, we could actually see uh, a lot more as well. Uh, if you're looking at this uh, to be in a, in a trend channel, uh, which is uh, can be drawn uh, like this, then uh, $5 would be the initial uh, target, but we could actually uh, head back up towards uh, six or seven dollars uh, if this is uh, a proper bear trap uh, rebound for the shares. That's it for me today. More updates tomorrow.